Uh, g'day folks. What do we got? Day number three in the Simpson component. We're all packed. Eight o'clock in the morning. Absolutely beautiful morning. The flies have just come out to say g'day. And uh, we're heading now to Popple. We're about 15k from Popple. And we're off to Popple Corner, folks. Oh, there's some cars coming across the lake. But at least we know which way to go. So for the next hour or so, we're gonna have that sun in our eyes. That's the uh, downside of leaving early. That's all right, we can cope with that. Okay, across the Salt Lake. A week or so ago, this would have been horrendous for those first few people that came through. They would have had to go all the way around. Can you imagine having to come through here driving? Check out those ruts. There's still heaps of mud there. And we're off. And you check out the sand, look how wet it is. It is just unreal at this time of day, as they all say. I imagine this footage is gonna look all washed out, but that's all right, we'll get a bit of early morning stuff. Right, we've just through this big salt lake. We're on the other side, behind me. And we're gonna come out here and, not sure why I'm actually walking where I could have ridden out, but anyway. We're gonna walk out to the bog hole and film the cars coming through. Here they all come. I got lazy. You can see Martin way over there in the distance. I'll let him film it. I've walked far enough. Here they come. They seem to be getting through all right. The patch is through, so that's good. We're all through. All drives are starting to get stuck in the middle, so we're just gonna do a recce for the other cars as they come through, make sure it's all good.
the pegs are scraping the side. Just left uh, Popple Corner. We're on. I think is this the K1 line or what is this? This is the one that goes straight north from Popple Corner, rather than along the edge of the lake. I'll look on the map and see what it's called. But it's a rather fun track, I might say. We are approaching the big lake and the QAA line. We're on it now, actually. Doesn't look too bad. It's a bit wet out in the middle, I reckon. We'll find out. Right, oh, here we are at uh, Hay River Track QAA line, and um, we've just uh, someone has just pulled up with a horse float. No, that's definitely a horse float. Hope he hasn't got Mr. Ed in there. That'd be uncomfortable. Geez, he can reverse that thing. Right, oh, mate. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. A -do 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 -do. Look at all the sand on the top of the drawbar. Off he goes. Oh, I hope there's no horse in there. All right, we're about 10k in from the lake. And yeah, you get these long, long straight stretches and bigger dunes. I came a cropper on one back there. Just went around, lost the front a bit, and finished up on the bank. I didn't actually fall off, I kind of stepped off. And I was able to retrieve the bike easy enough. We think we should be able to make Birdsville today. I think we've got a very good chance. It just depends on the... If we can go straight across Air Creek, I reckon we'll be right. But if we have to use the bypass, that's an extra 60k in two hours, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens at the end of the day. It's hard to believe we're in a desert which has very, very little rainfall. Look at that. It's a sea of green. Amazing, isn't it? So we're talking to the uh, Birdsville recovery truck. And he has told us we won't get bikes through the main air creek. We have to go to the bypass. So it's still, we might make it to Birdsville, we might not. We don't know until we get to the creek detour. And
Well, this uh, QAA line's been a lot of fun. We're about 65 from the lake. And yeah, the dunes, they're just, most are straight over. I've just stopped to enjoy the beautiful view. It's a quarter to four. We have now on the Air Creek bypass, we've done the first sort of up, I don't know, 20 odd K I think it is. Maybe 25 and now we're cutting across and should come to the uh, crossing point soon I would think. Oh, we must be here. We are. All right, there it is. Through the famous Air Creek. Bypass. Yeah. What a spot. Hey, there's a pelican or brawler or some bloody bird over there. Good spot. I'm going to have a try. <laughs> Here's Lee uh, Air Creek. Well, that's not too bad. Awesome stuff. Here he comes. Here comes Martin. Ah, oh, making it look easy. Easy. Oh, 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 no, this way. That's the new bypass route. Hey, we're all across, thank goodness for that. Now that is one clean bike. Yeah, it was, it was okay in the end. Down, down, I went, no. Then I went, flung on me and I went, I can't drop this, I can't drop this. So you made it, DRZ Amph. Hey, would you believe it? My battery's flat. Oh no. I'll turn mine off. Right, we're on the uh, other side of Air Creek and uh, the road is a wee bit uh, faster and we're heading for Big Red apparently. Right, oh yeah, still on the bypass. Uh, it was pretty fast earlier. It's back to this now. I don't know, maybe about 10k to go. When we get to the QAA, we think we might hit Big Red on, on almost sunset. Wow, what a way to finish the trip if that happens.
Whoa! That was serious shit. Anyway, I got most of the way and then had to just paddle over. Here it is, 517, big red in the distance. It's parked on the top of Nemesis. Now we've just got to work out how we get over there. We'll find out, I guess.